What is good, everybody, and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a two-in-one figure review. We're going to be reviewing the Elite Series 53 Kevin Owens and the Alexa Bliss. And if you do not know, this Alexa Bliss is in our free giveaway. One of our giveaways we are doing on Instagram for the Elite 53 Alexa Bliss figure. If you want to get this, be sure to go to the link in the description below to my Instagram page and you will follow all the details there to win this Alexa Bliss figure for absolutely free after you follow just a few simple rules. But if you want to pick up uh, these two figures, you can get them at walkoutwear.com right now, and you can get them for a really good price if you use the promo code MDT, and you will get free U.S. shipping regardless, and they have really low international rates as well, so walkoutwear.com, promo code MDT, very good prices, best prices on the map, but these figures look amazing. I'm absolutely happy to have both of these things. This Elite Kevin Owens is just so cool. It's his best attire that he's worn to this point, I think. Besides that uh, Face of America attire, I think this is definitely the best one. You have his Raw run here, even though it does have SmackDown Live on the box here, but I am very excited to have this. We get another Universal Championship, and of course, our first ever Alexa Bliss Elite figure, which looks amazing. I wish it came with either the Raw or SmackDown Women's Championships, but you know, you can't always have what you want with Mattel especially, but it does have a cool accessory, and it is based off of her uh, Harley Quinn attire that she rocked. Um, very excited to have that Alexa Bliss. I will be comparing the basic to this Elite, and I do have a women's championship that I will throw on there. But let's go ahead and crack these things open and take a closer look at them. Alright guys, so here we have both figures out of the packaging, and at first glance, I absolutely love both of these figures. I think they're really, really awesome, and I already recommend them, and I haven't even played with them in my hands that much, but already, I think this is my favorite women figure that Mattel has released to this point, and this Kevin Owens is definitely the best Kevin Owens. There are some inaccuracies that I will get into when we start the review, but I think I'm going to go ahead and start off the review with the Kevin Owens first, and then we will get to the Alexa Bliss. Alright guys, so this Kevin Owens head scan is different than the Elite 47 and the Elite 43, which we will compare in a few, but I think it's because the face is a little bit fatter, but going down, I think maybe the head may sit a little low on the neck, I, it may just be me, it may not be that bad, I, I just can't figure it out, but... I love the t-shirt design. I do love the Kevin Owens show. I think this is his best shirt that he has had. You have the KO on the back as well. Um, I do enjoy it as it is on there, symmetrical. It looks very nice. And I think they made his gut a little bit fatter, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they put that black under, uh, you know, the undershirt mold under here. I don't think they did that again. I think it's actually a skin mold this time. So if anybody has cut that open, please send it to me so I can see what it looks like underneath. But yeah, I think they did make it um, a little bit fatter. And of course you have your uh, tattoo here on the shoulder and then the live tattoo here and then his uh, knuckle tats as well. But of course they did continue that terrible um, big arm mold which isn't too terrible. I mean I haven't switched over any of my other ones but I will be doing it to this one because I'm really happy with this Kevin Owens figure. Um, I will be switching out those biceps, but going down into the uh, shorts, you have the KO over here in red with the white stripes, and then of course his signature fight right there. Um, I wish we had the uh, Universal Championship shorts. You know, since he came with the Universal Championship, I think it would be really cool, you know, when he fought Goldberg. And I think when he defended against Roman Reigns, he had like that uh, Universal Championship um, border with the KO in the middle of it. I really like that. And then going down, this is the first Kevin Owens Elite that has the uh, kick pads instead of the boots from his uh, earlier run and his NXT run. But again, there is an inaccuracy right here. And if I can, I'll pull up a picture of Kevin Owens where you will see that the kick pads need to go up higher to right here um, where his knee pad is instead of uh, this short. This is what they did with the Target exclusive NXT Seth Rollins. They did the same thing, and I don't know why they do it, but... Um, I think you can uh, do a lower knee swap with the John Cena and then pop some uh, regular black kick pads on there, which I probably will do in a separate video, like a fig hack. I'll probably show you guys how to make uh, the ultimate Kevin Owens figure. But let's go ahead and show off his accessory um, right here. It is the Universal Championship, which we have seen before. I think it came with uh, the SummerSlam Finn Balor, and then it came with the Elite 47 Kevin Owens, I believe. And that is the only times we've got it, I, I think. Um, if I'm wrong, please point it out in the comment section below. But I do dig this title a lot, and um, of course, it's an older uh, belt. We have had it before, obviously, like I said. But I do like it a lot, and it will look really nice with this figure on. I cannot wait to see what it looks like um, in a pose. But um, now let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons with older Kevin Owens figures. 
All right, guys, so here we have the comparisons between the other Kevin Owens Elites, and of course you have your Elite 43 here on the left, which I think the current head scan is a lot better than this trash. I don't even think this really favors Kevin Owens at all. And then you have the Elite 47 over here, which I love this head scan, but I think that the new one definitely takes the cake. You can see that they made his cheeks a little bit wider, gave him uh, more of a fat look like he looks in real life. Even though he is a beast, he does have some chunkage on his face. So they did get that accurate. And then if you look at the body, you can see that clearly the Elite 53, clearly it has like a different mold on the body, which looks a lot more accurate, which I do enjoy. And this is easily the best attire they have given us thus far. And of course you have your boots, uh, like I mentioned before, um, instead of the kick pads that they gave us, even though they gave us inaccurate ones. But if you're wondering why this one's black, it's because I was working on a custom Kevin Owens. So if you want to see what the body looked like, there it is. But let's go ahead and look at the Alexa Bliss figure Elite 53. Alright guys, so here's the Alexa Bliss Elite 53, and I gotta say straight off, like I said earlier, that this is the best women figure I think that Mattel has ever made, next to probably the Lita Elite that we got um, in Elite 41, but I really dig the head scan, I think it does favor Alexa Bliss a lot, I like the uh, pigtail look with the sculpted bows on there, that is a very nice touch, they even have that metallic pink paint right here. The eyes are accurate. Everything looks really good. I think it does resemble Alexa Bliss a lot. And the attire is really sweet. Obviously, it's based off of Harley Quinn. I think this is that Harley Quinn-inspired uh, attire. And she even has these little hand gauntlet things that are like her gloves that she wears, um, which are really awesome. They are removable um, like that, and they look really awesome as well. Pretty cool accessories to include. Um, hope I don't lose that, but um, I think that the Mattel box is wrong. It says that it's supposed to be No Mercy 2016, where she fought. Um, she was supposed to fight Becky Lynch for the Women's Championship, but you know it was ruled that she was unable to compete. And then she fought Naomi, and this is not the attire that she wore. She wore an attire that was just like this. However, it was black and silver, as you see here. And um, I don't know. I don't know why they say that. I guess all the boxes are always wrong because I swear I never see an accurate um, attire uh, listed on the Mattel boxes. But going down into the kick pads, which is one of my favorite parts of the entire figure, you see this detailed, um, you can see the sculpt there, um, and it says Alexa Bliss on the kick pads. And I think that the silver behind is not supposed to be like that. It's actually not that visible on her actual attire, but I do like it. It gives it some swag, so I do appreciate that. And um, they really killed it. I think the mold is nice, and I like it a lot better than the uh, boots that she had on her first basic. But I do enjoy this figure, and taking a look at the back here, you do, like, that is even sculpted right here. These are removable as well, these little bracelets. And that's really cool as well to even throw in there. But um, all the pink and the blue and the studs and everything on this attire is really, really awesome. And I do appreciate the figure a lot. So what I'm going to do here is take a moment and let's take a comparison between uh, her first figure and this Elite. So here's a look at both of the figures side by side. On the left you have her first time in the line NXT Alexa Bliss. And then on the right is the current Elite 53 Alexa Bliss. And both of them are really cool. I do like both figures. Um, obviously both are significantly different if you look at it. Um, you have the red black with the scratches you know from her time with... Uh, Blake and Murphy, and then you have um, the red faded hair, of course, you have pink on this one, and her hair is down compared to the pigtails here, but I think the likeness in this figure is a lot more than this one. Um, I do like the uh, snarl face on this, however, I can appreciate the uh, smiling one here, but um, taking a look at the uh, boots, like I was saying, you know, you have your laced boots here, and the kick pads, to me, just look a lot better, and you actually see that it says Alexa Bliss on there, so... I definitely think that the Elite wins. I don't understand why they give us Elite um, women figures when the articulation is basically the exact same. Um, I think that this head may sit a tad high on the neck, and I think that they nailed the uh, the new Alexa Bliss figure. So I do enjoy it. However, I did forget to show you guys the accessory that comes with the Elite 53, and it is this little tutu that she wore um, with this attire. And I honestly don't really know how to put it on there, but um, you do get this and again it's a, just a little plastic mold piece that wraps around her waist if you want to put that on her but um that is the comparison so now i'm going to show you what figures the figures look like with title belts on them here we have the figures with their respective championships of course kevin owens with his kevin owens show t-shirt and universal championship from his universal championship run and then of course alexa bliss with the first ever raw women's champion and smackdown live women's champion which is an awesome plaque which i really really might pick up 
big Alexa Bliss fan, so I may grab that off the WWE shop. But that is going to do it for these review guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to pick these figures up, go to walkoutwear.com. Use the promo code MDT. You get free U.S. shipping as well as 22% off with that promo code. So go do that. You can pick up these figures for a really good price. And that is going to do it for this review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.